Me. Okay, cool. My name is Ingrid Sparkman. I am the assistant editor for Victoria in Motion magazine. I'm partners with Cheryl Johnson, and I write biography for a living. Um, this was my New Year's resolution <laughs> in 2016 that stemmed from a bunch of events sort of happening um, in November and December. I had um, the great, a great opportunity to meet with an editor of a local paper. And we were sitting over coffee and we were talking about, um, he's writing every day and I'm writing just about every quarter because our magazine, Victoria Motion, is quarterly. And I said, oh, that would be so amazing to write every day. And he said, well, you don't have to write for a daily to write daily. And that sort of planted a seed. Right about that time, I was finishing reading Humans of New York, which is um, a phenomenal book uh, written by a young man named Brandon who worked for Wall Street and just got really burned out and started taking photographs and started hosting interviews with people that he met in New York. And I thought, oh, that's such a neat concept. I mean, it's something that I do, but have never done it in a book form and have never really had aspirations for something like that, but it was the amount of work and the amount of people that he had interviewed and photographed in the year that sort of left an impression with me. So I think that those two things combined in December and I thought New Year's is coming up, what if? What if I interviewed someone every day? And the 365 component comes from, and this is like the final piece of that puzzle, there is a movement on Facebook called 365. It's a photography group, and they're all over the world, where if you link up to a certain group, you're challenged to take a photo every day. And I recognize as a biographer, when I interview someone, I might take a photo. So it was really sweet because at the top of the headmaster, the article, it would say, story written by Ingrid Sparkman, photography by Ingrid Sparkman. And, and so a couple of issues into the magazine, I came to my partner, Cheryl, and I said, you really shouldn't say it's photography by Ingrid Sparkman. And she said, why not? I said, you really should say photography by Canon 60D because I shoot on automatic. And she had some, in some way inspired me, so she was like, well, start shooting manually. And that left me with, well, what is this thing? This camera I have and how can I use it? And that introduced me into a world in Victoria of some phenomenal photographers who were very kind and taught me a lot of things early on when I was starting this project. And so those are all the seeds. The 365, wanting to highlight my community, wanting the desire, uh, the challenge to write daily, and this is the end result to that. This is meeting someone every day, most of the time incredibly spontaneous, 95% of the people I didn't know. Um, and the coolest thing is, is that I think I can say honestly that I, these are 365 friends now. There was no method to the madness. <laughs> um, I think those first three days, I absolutely knew who they were because January 1st came. You know, I knew nothing about Facebook. My children, my older sons, had put a Facebook page together for me, and every once in a while I might post a picture, but I was not into um, or understood Facebook. So I had to learn a lot in three days, and um, just blessed to have had friends that were willing to shoot and sit and, you know, let me, let me interview them and go through the process with them together. And so the first three days was totally nervous, completely, um, afraid of what the next year would be, but I'd already made the commitment and I had actually seen before I even got started what some of the most beautiful things spiritually that could occur if I accomplished this goal on so many different levels. Highlighting people who maybe have never been highlighted before, being able to get to the layers of people, being able to see someone and um, smile at them and get to know them. And this might be someone that I'd seen, you know, picking up the, my garbage every day for a year or once a week for a year, you know, and, and finding out what are their, what's their background, what's their story, what are some things that they like. Um, I don't know, it was just, a, I was really 
wanting very much to bring our community together. It's exactly what I do in the magazine. Victoria Motion, the premise when Cheryl and I built the magazine was to highlight positive people doing positive things in our community. And I think 365 Victoria is an extension of that. Oh, I'm super happy that I did it. And I think, I think even towards like the last two weeks, I started getting really sad. You know, maybe like day 215, I was like, oh my gosh, this year. Most people are like, this year went by so fast. This project was so fast. It's like being pregnant where somebody was like, oh my God, you were just pregnant. And they were like, oh my God, this year happened so fast. And I was like, no. <laughs> It was a really long year, but it was like the it was like the most spiritual year I'd ever had. You know, I met amazing, amazing people. Um, I think the thing that I would say out of this is is that that last 365th day, I shot a photo of a stool in a mirror that was in my studio, and I said, "Here's the challenge: go out and like I had 5,000 followers, a huge." huge blessing. I mean, when I hit 365 people and I was, and my friends can tell you, I'm not a numbers person. I'm terrible in math. I actually don't even think there's 365. I think I messed up, but I think what was interesting is I messed up. I overdid it some days and then I underdid it others. And so somehow by the grace of God, it still ended being 365, but there were, I'd had to, I had to like go back and renumber it twice because I go fast and I'm, you know, whatever. It's three, oh, it's day 322. So the next day I go, oh, it's day 322. I mean, I did stuff like that. But my point was that um, I was very blessed. I forgot what I was going to say. That's okay. <laughs> Crap. So, um, this oh, okay, I remember. I remember what. Ready? Okay. So everybody had a thought and opinion and an idea of what day 365 should be. And I thought, you know, and I, had, I already had three game plans. So I had three what I thought were really spiritually impactful ideas for 365. And then something just moved me to say, I'm going to do it like this. I'll leave that open. I'm going to leave day 365 open and challenge the community to maybe try and to you know, go out and if you meet someone that's really cool or you hear a really cool story, jot it down, take that person's picture and send it to me on Facebook. And I would put that, you know, in as they came in. So I'm still kind of up for that. I'm still kind of up for that. And everybody's asked me if I'm going to do it again. And I will say that I am going to do it again, but I've got some things that I need to take care of first, like a job, <laughs> like I'm really behind on articles. Um, can we scratch that? <laughs> Do you mind? Can we edit that? That's, no, yeah. Okay, all right, so ready? Um, I will say that it's been interesting to have had so many people ask me if I'm going to do it again, and I think I will leave it a secret for now. So I'm Ingrid Sparkman, and um, this is my project, this is my quirky installation piece at the Victoria Art League. This is 365 people that I've been very blessed and very honored to get to meet and I just wanted to tell those people thank you with all of my heart for sharing their story. I am forever, forever grateful and changed because of it.